We're ready now for the very last problem for these limits, and I've written it out here already. So this is a piecewise function where f of x equals 1 over x if x is less than 1, and f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So it looks like the transition point where the function changes is when x is equal to 1. And now we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x. So this is a case where, now what happens is when you're asked to find the limit of a piecewise function at this transition point, you can't really just go in and find the limit because you notice since one's a transition point, what we really have to do is this is where we have to go ahead and look at the limit of f of x from the low side and the high side both. And if the low side and the high side limits equal the same thing, then that's the answer to this problem. Oftentimes, the limits will not be the same, and then therefore there's no limit. So for these piecewise functions, there's a little bit more work involved. You have to actually look at, when you're looking at the transition point, the low side and the high side limits, and then compare them to see what the answer is. So let's do that. Let's look at the low side. So as x approaches 1, but as a little bit less than 1, we end up using the first function. Because this is a function you use when x is less than 1, and that's what we're saying here. x just is, a, is almost 1, but a little bit smaller than 1. So in that case, it's going to be, just to make it clear, Now what you do here, even though x is approaching 1 from the low side, to get the limit, I go ahead and still plug in 1 for x. So 1 over 1. So I say the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the low side is going to be 1. Now let's look at the limit as x approaches 1 from the high side. So now, because x is a little larger than 1, we have to use the second function. So just to make it very clear, what I have now is the limit as x approaches 1 from the high side, x squared plus 2x minus 2. So now once again, I can go and plug in 1 for x to see what happens. So 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 2. Turns out 1 plus 2 minus 2 is 1. So now I compare. From the low side, the limit is 1. From the high side, the limit is 1. So since the low and the high side limits equal the same thing, then I can go ahead and say the overall limit as x approaches 1 of this function is 1. Now just for fun, just to prove a point, <clears throat> what if the second function, just because I want you to understand this, what if the second function had been f of x equals x squared plus 2x if x is greater than or equal to 1. <clears throat> so we did the same problem, but this is the second function. So the first function stays the same, x from the low side is 1. If this was my second function, now I look at from the high side, So I plug in 1 for x, 1 squared plus 2 times 1 equals 3. So for this sort of new problem, the limit as x approaches 1 from the high side is 3. 
Now I compare from the low side it's one and from the high side it's three. So for this new problem I just made up, you would have to say the limit doesn't exist because the low and the high side approach a different number. So once again, the original problem, the low and the high side both approach one, therefore the overall limit is one. But just for teaching purposes, I went ahead and changed that second function. So I redid the second function, and now from the high side, the function equals three. And since three is different than one, if this had been my actual second function, there would have not have been a limit. So that's the idea, that what you have to look at when you have a piecewise function. Okay, I'm gonna stop now and go ahead and do the last problem, which is all about continuity, or the last couple problems, actually, on a new video.